Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of Rita Ko, Eugene Ong, Unko Kong, Anthony Liu, Catherine Liu, Lucas Chin, for the special intentions of Anamale Ayasami, Edmund Lee, Rita Joan, Susan, Abdesh, Rita Tiam, Chiang Yu Chong, John Paul, in thanksgiving to Matthew Sia and for Alice and Anthony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. As we praise ourselves into the whole experience of the heavenly mysteries, and as we seek God's presence in this Eucharist, let us prepare our minds and heart by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had escaped during the persecution that happened because of Stephen traveled as far as Bonicia and Cyprus and Antioch, but they usually proclaimed the message only to the Jews. Some of them, however, who came from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch where they started preaching to the Greeks proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus to them as well. The Lord helped them, and a great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The church in Jerusalem heard about this, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. There he could see for himself that God has given grace, and this pleased him and he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. And a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas then left for Tarshish to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. 
As things turned out, they were to live together in that church for a whole year, instructing a large number of people. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. On the holy mountains in this city, cherished by the Lord, the Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's darlings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. They will be her children, and Zion will be called mother and all shall be her children. O oh, oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. It is he, the Lord Most High, who give each his place. In his register of people he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they shall sing, in you shall find their home. O oh, oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. The ship that belongs to me, listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. It was a time when the Feast of Dedication was being celebrated in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus was in the temple walking up and down in the portico of Solomon. The Jews gathered round him and said, How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have told you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name are my witness, but you do not believe, because you are no sheep of mine. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost, and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone, and no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Another cold, wet morning. If you look at the gospel text today, it was winter, it was cold, and that is why Jesus was walking up and down to keep himself warm at the portico of Solomon. It was cold in winter towards the Feast of the Dedication. Yesterday we spoke about the gate, the open experience of the fate, drawing people into the sheepfold. Today we step into another area that is very close to the heart of a disciple, the voice, vokari, the sound of the shepherd. It is how we are able to draw people into the sheepfold, to invite others to be a part of the sheepfold. Jesus says very simply and very plainly today, they listen to my voice and they follow me. And they become of the greater experience of the sheepfold. 
In the journey of a disciple, as I said, one of the most important experiences, the most need is to listen to that voice. The ability to allow people to listen to the voice of the shepherd. You find this whole description very beautifully in the first reading. Just after the death of Stephen, the persecution of Stephen, everything went in disarray. Everything was scattered. Everything was in a state of helplessness and hopelessness. And everyone ran for their own to different parts of Cyprus and Sicilia. They went on. And some went down to Antioch. And they refused to give this voice to the Greeks, only to the Jews. But some of them slowly allowed that voice to reach the hearts of the Greeks in Antioch. And they became Christians and they were embraced into the sheepfold. In the midst of all this, there was a wonderful man by the name of, by the name of Barnabas. So you are awake. By the name of Barnabas. Now my next question. Do you know what Barnabas means? What does Barnabas mean? The name Barnabas. It's in Acts chapter 5. It means encouragement. Sons of encouragement. Barnabas' actual name was Joseph. In Acts chapter 5, you find his vocation. Because Barnabas was able to encourage people. He was able to get them all going. And when he was at that moment encouraging people, the Lord told him, Barnabas, get up, Barnabas. Go to Tarsus. There is a man by the name of Saul. Encourage him to come back to Antioch and become that voice. And spread that voice out. And Barnabas went to Tarsus and brought Saul back to Antioch. And you know the story of Saul, the great Paul. To fan the flame of the voice. My dear friends, there are many of us who know of people who are struggling out there. Who long for that voice. Who yearn for that voice. Who desire for that voice. It could be just a smile. A simple hello by picking up that phone. By just sending a little note on your WhatsApp and says, how's your day today? There is a cry of emptiness, of isolation, of this array in people's life today. They long to return. They want that encouragement. They want the face of mercy. They long for that face of mercy. Barnabas, the encouraged, was able to fan that voice and to draw that sheep into the sheepfold. I invite us today, this morning, you will find someone along. It could be at the marketplace. It could be one at your home. It could be at your office. It could be someone on the streets. The face of mercy is out. You need to bring that mercy to them, to allow them to see the voice of God, to enable them to just to listen to that voice of the shepherd. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray my dear sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant we pray O Lord that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that renewed constantly at work within us we may be the cause of an unending joy through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, we lift them, them up to, to the Lord. Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy to your beloved Son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with angels and saints we, be, we declare your glory and with one voice we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god, god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and the blood of Christ. The Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers this morning, that this holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and to ensure for us the eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful, merciful Father, Father, source, source of, of healing, healing, cast, cast the, the light of health, health and well-being well on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease, Bless, Bless them, them protect, protect them, them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. Source of life, life grant, grant public, public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God, God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and please stay safe. Same to you, Father.